Here we go then, boys and girls. I've been threatening it long enough. If you've been watching me on Twitch recently, you'll know the Minecraft obsession is real at the moment. So I'm coming back with my first Minecraft YouTube series in over two years. It was so long ago, the previous videos aren't even available on YouTube anymore. But we are going again with a single player survival world. Let's jump straight into it. Um, we probably need to create a new world, don't we? We're just going to do a completely random seed of survival Minecraft. We should probably give it a name. Um, I think we probably have to go with Lelujo, Lelujo Land 2. Or, you know, the channel has just been recalled Lelujo, Lelujo 2. We should probably call it Lelujo 2 Land. In fact, a little bit of a nod to the name we gave last time. Everything else is just being left exactly as is, not fiddling with any of these options at all. So we're just going to pick that, create new world, and see what we end up with. The only proviso I'm putting on this is if it spawns me on an island, we are gonna, we're going to have a re-roll. I, I probably won't even show you the re-roll because I'm a monster and I can edit here, unlike over on Twitch. This is definitely not somewhere that's getting a re-roll. We are right next to mushrooms. We are right next to wood. We are right next to water. This is it, boys and girls. This is what we need. Specifically, we need some wood, and then we need to go off and find some sheep. If you are excited for Minecraft finally being back on the channel after so very long, make sure you leave a like on the video. The more likes we get on the video, the more the more likely I am to make these videos on a regular basis. I don't really know at the moment what the schedule is going to be for this series. It's likely to be maybe three, three or four videos a week. Feels about right. Uh, but, you know, if it's super duper popular, we might end up doing them a little bit more often. We're on the hunt for sheep now. We've got a, uh, a smashed up old portal over there. So we'll actually head for that and get some early goodies and hope we might find some sheep over here. I don't know why I'm just paddling through the water when there's perfectly good land to walk on here. Um, as far as plans for the series go, I, I don't really have any other than the fact, and I've said this on Twitch recently, twitch.tv slash Lelujo if you want to see me streaming some uh, multiplayer Minecraft over there. But I've been playing Minecraft for years at this point and I've never got as far as taking on the dragons. I think part of the, the, the main goal for this series has got to be we've got to defeat the dragon. We've actually got to complete the game for the first time ever. That is that is big. I've seen some uh, I've seen some smashed portals before. They're not usually this size. This is absolutely enormous. There's loads of the, uh, what is it? The, the dripping andesite or something it's called. That's in there as well. That is a big, big portal. What have we got in here? A um, little bit of uh, goodies as well. Lots of lots of flint and steel. Um, we don't really want a curse of binding chest plate. We will take this chest though. Um, so if you are new to the channel off the back of this, make sure you subscribe as well. Um, like I say, video is going to be out every ooh, there's lava there. Every three or four days for now, we'll review that if it ends up being super popular. And the way to make it super popular is to leave a like on the video. There are no sheep over here. We're going to have to kind of remember that that's there because we're going to want to come back for that. We've got a pig. But a pig does not get me to a bed. What have we got here? Is this a... No, I thought that was going to be one of those big, deep cavern situations. I feel like sheep... Are they sheep in the distance over there? I feel like they're more likely to be over here. There's a lot of water. This is quite a cool little spawn location, other than the total lack of anything I can use to make into a bed. Is that a skeleton under that tree? Or are they sheep? They're not, they're sheep. They're sheep mixing in with the branches of the tree that made it look like a skeleton, but there's definitely two sheep there. So two sheep gets me two thirds of the way towards being able to make a bed and potentially start the night. There's more than two sheep here. Oh, there's more than two sheep here, boys and girls. Come on, give me... I probably could have made a weapon in all my wandering around. Come on. Right, give me your wool. Now, I know these are different colours, so we're going to have to either find some more sheep or find a flower or something to, to dye some of this wool. There were four here. We've got three different colours of wool now, which is not ideal, but, you know, needs must. Sheeps, sheeps are sheeps, as the, say, as the old-fashioned saying goes. Come on, give me your wool. Give me your wool. Is there any more? If there's another white one over here, I don't need to worry about having to find any kind of dye. There is, there's another white one. So I'm afraid the, the black sheep and the dark grey sheep 
did die for no reason, other than the fact that they can be some nice early food for me. Right, that is enough wool to make a bed. Let's grab a little bit more wood. In fact, what we should probably do is set up uh, a crafting table. Is this a little island? This might be a perfect little spot to set up a nice early little camp, because I think we're on an island, which is going to minimise baddies getting to me. It's not going to be a long-term location, but I think for now this will do. So let's um let's make a crafting table and let's No, we need to make planks first, Kev. Good start. I've been playing Minecraft for ages on Twitch and here I am in a YouTube video making it look like I don't know how to do a crafting table. Right, let's get the crafting table down there. Um we do want the book open. We're gonna need some more planks. Uh, let's just make all of these into planks for now. Make ourselves a bed. And then we're going to want to make a few rudimentary tools. There is some stone over there. So I think for now, I'm just going to make a, a wooden pickaxe and go and get some... I'm just going to remember where that is. We're just going to go and get a little bit of cobblestone so that we can cook up some of this mutton because we're already getting low on hunger. Or not low, low, but, you know, we could do with fixing this hunger situation. So if we just get enough stone to make a furnace... And like stone sword, stone pick, that kind of thing, stone axe. And then we can, uh, then I think I'm pretty satisfied that we're at least going to make it through the first night. What we don't have yet is any idea where we're going to set up a first base. What I would ideally like is some kind of sustainable food source. We do not want to be going caving just yet. Uh, sweet berries are a, a great thing that I've used early on. In, this is definitely somewhere we don't want to be down there. There's some iron down there. It says we don't want to be here. I mean, we can't get the iron until we've got the stone pick. Is this an actual cave? It's coal down there as well. We will just take a sneaky little piece of coal. There's some more iron down there. Oh, oh, we got it anyway. There you go. One piece, one piece of coal. If I venture too far away from that island, I'm going to lose my crafting table and my little location that I want for my first night. Right, that should be enough. That should be enough cobblestone for now. So if we head up here, there's another eye, there's another cave system under there. We are definitely too early to be messing around in any kind of caves. Although I am going to go back for that iron in a second. Iron on the first day. I like the idea of some iron on the first day. Right. Um, what are we going to do? We are going to we're going to make a furnace. So then we can get that meat cooking because we could do with having something to eat. So let's cook some meat. Let's also make a sword. And we're going to make a pickaxe so we can go back and get that iron. And we've got enough left for, a, uh, for an axe as well. Excellent stuff. Can we Have we got a piece of meat ready? Just, just in case we run into any unsavory characters in there. There you go. That's sorted that out. And now we're going to go back in Grab that iron. I didn't notice any mobs in here, but there was lava, which immediately makes me a little bit afraid. So I want to grab the iron. There was a little bit more coal as well. And uh, just get us off to a nice little start. Let's have some of this iron. Be very aware that there is lava off to that side, wasn't there? Um, was it more up this way or was the other iron? The iron was down near the lava. So this is... This is where it all ends, boys and girls. Can we block that off? We've got some cobblestone. If, if it's just that one lava source, we should be able to just seal that off. There's iron there, iron there. There's coal there. We want all of this, really. What we don't want to do is get so deep that we start running into skeletons and zombies and the like. But Oh, it's dark. It's dark down here. Okay. This is risky, risky, risky business. Are we going to die before we've even slept for the first night? After such a solid start as well, getting the bed, getting the other bits and bobs that we needed, do we dare venture any deeper? We don't have any torches. I can hear a skeleton. We've got to get out of here. Get out of here. There's a zombie as well. Get out of here. Fast escape. We have no armor. We have no weapons. We didn't even make a sword. Um, that will do. <laughs> my heart is thumping we've got seven pieces of iron that's that's a solid that's a solid start 
that allows us to upgrade our pickaxe, maybe make a shield, various other... Tri there he is, look, he's followed us all the way out. There you go, the advantage of effectively having a moat. He's, we might we might just live here forever. There's nowhere near enough space to expand on here for us to live here long term. But still, we've got some more coal. So we can... We don't want to cook that for now. We want to get our iron... Let's just leave all that in there. Get some iron up and running. We want a... We need more trees. We haven't got any trees on our little island. Right. That's, how's the sun doing? We want to make sure we don't get caught... With the, uh, don't, don't want to get caught in any kind of darkness. There is the gold block on top of the nether port once over there as well, which we could go and grab once we have our iron pick in a second. But for now, we'll just grab a little bit more wood. So we've got food, we've got bed, we've got tools, we've got iron, we've got coal. That, that's like the perfect first day. The only way that could have been any better is if we'd have stumbled across a village and ended up with a whole load of extra goodies and bits and bobs from that. But as as first days go, I couldn't really have hoped for much more than this. Right, let's get over here. It is about to get dark. There's a lot of cows lurking around on here. I don't really want to be killing cows just yet. Did we, did we actually make a bed? We did make a bed. We haven't put the bed down yet. So let's put the bed down here. So we can sleep in a second. There we have the bed. Can we just sleep in that now. I don't want to give there. I don't want to give mobs any chance at all to spawn. So we're going to jump into bed. Have a lovely old sleep. Excellent. A new day. Let's grab the rest of our iron. So we've got seven pieces of iron. Right, let's try and use this tactically. What's going to be most important? Job number one, we need an iron pickaxe. In fact, job number one is we need some sticks. So let's get some more sticks. Job number two becomes iron pickaxe. Super important. In fact, we probably don't want that to be our main pickaxe just yet, which leaves us with four pieces of iron. Now, we can use one piece to make a shield, which, as we have no armor, I think a shield is probably a good plan. And maybe a bucket, because then if we've got a bucket, if we've got enough for a bucket, how many pieces do you need for a bucket? Why is bucket not showing up on there? Bucket is three pieces, because then... We can start a farm because we can have a water source and we can start farming some wheat potentially. But I don't think we're going to stay here for now. I think we need to go and do a little bit more exploration. So if we smash up all our stuff so we can take it with us and we're going to go and find somewhere where we want to set up our first little starter base, which there's bees down there. I mean, this isn't a disastrous area. I could definitely see myself... Setting up here, there's lots of animals, lots of wood, water all around us. But I want to head over to there because it looks like over there there's there's, an, there's open plains. And that feels like that might then lead to a village. I've just got... My, my village sense is tingling over here on the other side of this water, which I think... Is, it, is that a little bit closer to where we spawned, maybe? Should I be making a boat? Is this painful just watching me bob along through the sea we have got a decent amount of wood it just seems seems a little bit extravagant making a boat this early but you know what it's i've got nothing against being extravagant we'll have a boat please have we not got enough wood um we need to make some planks then plank me up come on uh right oak planks how many do we need 10 should be plenty i would think now we can make ourselves a boat an oak boat please Who's that? Where are they coming from? Uh, get away. Let's use our new sword for the first time. Get away from me, you monster. Hey, lovely stuff. Now, can I get back to making my boat, please? Before I was so rudely interrupted. Boat. Oak. No, we want an oak boat, not a spruce boat. Um, not an acacia boat. Not a birch boat. An oak boat. There we go. We have our oak boat. Let's... Smash our table back up again. I'm just going to fill my water bucket just in case we end up going super inland and um, needing some water. That's kind of why we've got the water bucket. Right, we're going to head this way. And um, One other thing I should probably address in episode one, because I'm sure people will ask, face cam and lack of face cam. Obviously, in all my Football Manager videos, I always use face cam. 
Um, I've not got the face cam on for this, and it's mainly because I've watched a lot of Minecraft YouTube over the last two or three weeks as I've been playing a lot of it over on Twitch. And the big thing that I've noticed is no one really uses a face cam. So I figure let's try and match into what everyone else is doing. Um, it does potentially hide parts of the screen in ways it doesn't in my Football Manager videos. And I guess it's just a preference for the Minecraft community as a whole. So I imagine most people watching this episode one are here from my other videos, and it might seem a little odd to you if you're used to seeing my beautiful face throughout videos. But I guess anyone stumbling across this video, if anyone does stumble across this video, let me know down in the comments if you are a stumbler. But if anyone stums, stumbles across this video looking specifically for Minecraft and has no idea who I am and has never watched any of my stuff before, um, I guess it will seem a little bit more like what they're used to and what they're expecting when they click on a Minecraft video. So that's the thought process. Um, right, we're heading deep in here. There's some pumpkins over there. I'm really just hoping we stumble across a village. There's more bees. We are going to take a little bit of pumpkin because pumpkins are always handy for trading with villagers if we find any villagers. I just feel like this direction. I don't know why. This direction just speaks to me. Mainly because I'm looking for some sweet berries more than anything. And I think if we head into the woods, we're more likely to find some sweet berries. We can set up a sweet berry farm and then we're less reliant on killing all of the local cows before we're able to set up any kind of farm for them as well. Um, I'm not seeing anything village shaped on the horizon, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's get as high up as we can. And is that no, that's the mushroom, isn't it? Right, let's let's be rascals and if we stick the render distance out to full while we're up high, see if we can load in anything that looks like it could be a village. It's gonna take a minute because we are rendering a ridiculous distance now. Right, that there's horses and more animals and stuff down. See, that's quite a nice spot for a base i think it's nice and flat we can set up some farms over there and it's got the the mountains and stuff to the back so you've got all of that um all resources you've got the woods nearby you've got the river running through that might be a perfect little base location but what we'd like is I and mean, we'll head there we want to head there via the village just letting it load up over that side as well so we've got a swamp over there no, they're trees on the top there. I thought for a second when they're just the treetops were loading in, it might have been the roofs of houses. But alas, it was not. There's a village. Hey, and it's right next to where we were already planning to be. So I'm going to set my base up here. There's a village. Oh, my word. Absolute perfection. Right, let's take this down. Because if we try and actually play the game with 50 chunks render distance we are not ever getting anywhere but we know roughly where that village was let's get down from here and head over this way basically if we follow this river around we're going to find our village so this is our little plane that we're going to set up our first base on i think we can certainly get some good farming done on here um the one thing i don't have is my sweet berries but you know what i'm willing to sacrifice sweet berries is that uh some potentially some caves down there we've got some horses Loads of sheep, cows. If we set up a nice wheat farm, we can get a cow farm up and running relatively quickly. And then we don't need to worry so much about the lack of sweet berries. And who knows what we're going to find in this village, which we can now see on our normal render distance, nicely loaded up. So let's just, you know, you don't, don't want to walk into a village having a snack. You eat your snack before you get there. Otherwise, they'll think that we have to share. But let's get over there. We want to see what we've got. This is... I mean, this seed is working out beautifully. Um, I guess, uh, let me know down in the comments if there's interest in me sharing the seed. I can potentially share the seed. What I don't want to do is share the seed with you and then have the comments section fill up with, Kev, go to these coordinates and you'll find this or that or the other. Um, I kind of want to explore the world and discover what's here all by myself. I think it will be much more fun that way. But... If you want to play along, I'm not against you playing along as well. Right, let's see what we've got. There's loads of cows here. More beds. Are there actually any villagers here? Um, can we get in? You left anything in there for me? No? I've not actually seen a villager yet. Villagers? 
It's not an abandoned village because it's not covered in cobwebs the way the abandoned villages are. But there's bees and cows. This is just where the bees and the cows live. Hello! There's villages. They're over there. Okay. They're just wondering why I'm rummaging through their house. Oh, that's what I wanted. A big pile of wheat. That is going to allow us to make a real good start on a... Uh, on a cow farm and some potatoes, some emeralds. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We'll take this as well. I'm sorry that I'm coming in and taking all your stuff, but, I mean, I'm new, and you look like uh, a bunch that are willing to share. I'll, pro I'll probably be back. Don't worry. I'm not going to take everything today. I'll almost certainly be back. A map. Oh, how useful is a map? Right. Let me load up the map. Let's have a look at our location. Can we, can we look at the map, please? So there's the village. I think up there is where we're going to be set up. Beautiful. Right. Let's, oh, there's a cat here. I should have brought some fish. We had all that water where we spawned and we didn't catch any fish. We could have had a cat already as well. Right. We've got more empty maps. So two cartography tables. Um, loads of villagers. I mean, there's no point seeing if there's anything good to trade with them just yet because we don't really have anything to trade. Other than those pumpkins, I'm not seeing any pumpkins here. Can I interest you villagers in some pumpkins? How am I going to get up here? This village has spawned weird. And we're lagging a little bit. I turned the render distance down, didn't I? We're... It seems like it's lagging out on me just a smidge and we might have to push it down a little bit further. I don't actually know what my render distance was set to before, so I might not have put it down far enough again lots of bread to keep us going in the meantime it looks like it's about to be night time again but we can just we can sleep in the village for tonight come on what else have you got all the potatoes so we're gonna have a potato farm we're gonna have a wheat farm we don't need to worry about bringing saplings with us for now um and that i think is the entire village raided question mark i think i'm gonna bin the armor off Curse of Bidon. You know what? That's fine. It's stuck on us now. I'm sure it'll break eventually. I guarantee come episode 10, when I've got my diamond chest plate ready to go, I'm going to regret that decision. But we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be dying long before I have diamond chest plates to put on. But we're going to collect up a little bit of this wheat. And if we pop the bed down that we had before, that is the end of day two and i think probably a decent spot to end episode one let me know what you think down in the comments are you happy with the location that we've chosen for our for our first base would you have done anything differently what would you what would you be doing next what where would you go from here um i am very much happy for this to be interactive as much as possible like i say my main experience of minecraft content recently has been streaming it live over Twitch, where obviously we have that instant back and forth. Um, and I will continue doing that as well. So if you want to head over to twitch.tv slash Lelujo, there'll be plenty of Minecraft over there over the coming weeks and months, no doubt. Um, but I'm happy to, and, and really looking to get some interaction going here as well. So let me know what you would do from here. Um, and all ideas are welcome. I won't necessarily do all ideas, but they're all welcome. But is this the little area we said we were going to set up camp? This is the, the, the area that it looked flatter than this from the sky. It was over here, wasn't it? This clearing here. I think this is where we're going to build, and that is going to be the job for episode two, making a start on our first base, build a little start house. Um, we need to deal with this. This is where that water bucket comes in, because if we're building a base here, we do not need all of this lava burning down my house that's almost certainly going to be built of wood. Um, but yeah, that'll be a job for episode two. Get our farms up and running for some proper food sources. Get our base or our starter base built. And uh, then look to get some exploration going from there and get down into some of these caves. There you go. We've dealt with the, dealt with the lava. We've got a lot of obsidian around us, which is going to be handy when the time comes to jump into the nether. But there you go, boys and girls. If you have enjoyed this first episode, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Like I say, it's the best way to let me know that you're looking for more of the series, you're eager to see it continue, and it really helps support the channel and the video in the algorithm as well. This has been, I don't remember the last time I released a video on this channel, 
So uh, it's been a while. Oh, God, don't set fire to stuff with your flint and steel, Kev. It's been a while, so likes will really help in restarting the channel as well. So make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you again very soon for episode two. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'm clearing grass. Goodbye.